Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Survival. Yes, we're still playing survival mode and that's where I have to survive on driving around like a lunatic um, or possibly not like a lunatic, we'll see how it goes um, until the circle shrinks down to 100 meters. So we've got the circle in implemented again and this time we're using the mode where the circle teleports each time I reach the edge of it. So there is an invisible, well invisible as far as I can tell, circle placed across the map. Um, and when I when I get to the edge of it, it will then automatically jump so that I'm somewhere somewhere inside it completely at random. So maybe I'll be near the middle, maybe I won't be. We shall, we shall see how it goes. But I could be anywhere in the circle at that point. Um, my, as I say, my, um, my challenge is to survive until the circle gets down to 100 metres from the 500 metres it starts at. So that could take a while. Um, and the speed it shrinks at depends on what sort of car I'm driving. So at the moment I'm in a Panto, which is a sort of a fairly generic boring car so the circle shrinks at the generic boring speed if I switch to a van then it's slow then it shrinks a bit more quickly or industrial vehicle shrinks a bit more quickly if I switch to a sports or supercar it shrinks really really slowly so it's quite a strong discouragement from using those because that wouldn't make the running particularly interesting now we're playing off in the um, the northern part of the map for a change um, because well we tried it in the last run um, and it seemed quite, and it was quite good fun. So we thought we'd give it another shot and see, and um, and, and see how it goes. Um, and it's it's interesting up here because we don't really have a very good knowledge of what the map's like in this area. So we're, we're kind of making it up as we go along, which makes it a bit more um, a bit more difficult. <clears throat> um, and a bit. Ooh, that was a bad turn makes it a bit more difficult because nobody knows the map properly around here so we're just sort of exploring and and kind of seeing what happens now they won't expect me to drive a panto because around here the biggest advantage I can get is if I drive an off-road vehicle because their coupes are faster than basically anything that spawns around here so I ideally want to find myself something like a BF injection or a um, or a Jeep or one of those monster truck things um, they're all quite good for this this car I'm in is terrible, so I don't really want to be in this, because if we get into a chase, I'll have no chance of getting away. But there just doesn't seem to be very much around, so I'm um, kind of... I don't want to cavalcade. They, they, they just don't... They, they handle about as badly as the um, as this, this Panto does, and they... Yeah, they're, no, they're just terrible. I'm not using one of those. <laughs> However, if nothing else spawns, I don't know what I'm going to do. So if I just continue driving around here, then... Well... Because I'm now driving around in a relatively small area, the circle might not move. I don't know exactly where it is. I might be pinging it sort of back and forth as I move around like this, if I'm, especially if I'm very unlucky. Um, so it might, it might, I might be just not moving the circle around at all, or I might be bouncing it around loads. Either way, it's going to give them a bit Good of information Lord about where I am, and enable them to just sort of try and find me. What's that? That's that cavalcade again. I told you I don't want that. Give me something better. There's nothing else driving. Ooh, that might be possible. It's got a trailer. I'll probably lose that in the first bit of the chase, but it might surprise them a little bit. Oh yes, one other thing I haven't actually mentioned yet is the hunters this time have a micro light. There it is. You can see it behind me there. It just disappeared into the distance. Um, and that is because around here it's so hard to judge where somebody. It's it's quite difficult to from from the hunter's point of view. It's quite easy to lose the um, prey because I go over a hill or something and then just sort of get thrown around at a random angle and then they can't spot me. So we decided to make it a bit fairer for them. We'd give them, we'd let them have an aircraft. So there's the micro light buzzing around there. Hopefully it didn't see me steal this uh, steal this pickup truck. Um, and so he, they can they, they can then guide the hunters towards me, um, which will give them a chance to give them a better, better chance of catching me and once we get into a chase it will probably be able to follow me a bit more effectively than the hunters now the micro lights have a few disadvantages over cars they're much much um, they're they're a bit slower than than a car with it when you really put your foot down and also they tend to and they're, they're very bad at turning so whilst they've got a better view and so on and they can and they can look look down from above they if there aren't any cars behind me I've got it it's not too, shouldn't be too difficult to lose them We'll find out how that goes when we um, when we actually get into a chase. But for now, I'm cautiously optimistic about the microlight not being 
as difficult to deal with as you might expect. Now, my, my intention is to stay on at least reasonably proper roads. This is possibly, this is sort of pushing the limits of what I want to be on a little bit. But there hasn't been much else around here. It's either this or that main tarmac road over there, and that feels a bit too big. Although that said, given what I'm driving, maybe I should be on a slightly more proper road. I'm hoping that basically as soon as we get into a chase and I have my first sort of excitable manoeuvre, I'm going to lose the trailer and that's going to make it a lot easier to drive this vehicle. Uh, because I think doing a chase with a trailer attached, probably not the best idea. So we shall see, how, but we shall see how it goes. I think it's it's interesting. I've never driven a vehicle with a trailer before in one of these runs. So I'm hoping that it's going to be subtle they're going to, and they're not going to notice it. Where am I? Where am I going? I don't really know. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a subtle thing that they won't really spot and that it won't be too much of a detriment to me if and when we do get into a chase. This is, this is the railway line. I don't want to get onto that. Okay, we're heading over to the highway. That is also not ideal because if I get onto the highway then I have to move a bit faster because I'll be on the highway. Alternatively, I might just get to an end of the road looking at the map. That's not ideal either. <laughs> oh dear. What have I got myself into this time? Um, I don't want to just go back the way I came. Let's get onto the highway from here, even if it requires a little bit of off-roading. Like this. And then try and get off the highway again at a point where I can. So this might make me it make me a little bit more obvious where I'm going because I'm doing slightly higher speeds. Um, there's a lot of traffic around. I was going to pull a U-turn in that um, highway junction there, but that didn't look particularly practical. I'm not going to pull into the petrol station. That's a bad idea. But just along here, there is an exit from the highway. So if I can come off here and turn right, that should be a that'll bring me back into the sort of the off-roady sort of. No, not not off-road, the off off the main road areas, but on at least a proper tarmac road, and I think that's probably an acceptable place to drive. From my point of view, actually, at this stage, one of the biggest differences is that there aren't any traffic lights out here. So that means that as I drive along, I don't have those points where I can sort of stop and have a bit of a think about what I'm doing. Ooh, I'm scraping that along the um, scraping the trailer along the wall there, I think. But I'm trying to keep an eye out behind me for the um, for the micro light, just in case it's it's nearby because he's gonna he knows where the circle is as well as the just as well as the other hunters do so he's gonna be out looking for me and I just need to try and I don't know evade all the hunters I'm still not getting the pop-ups telling me how big the circle is so I think something's broken there but the hunters did assure me that the circle was getting smaller in the last run so I'm gonna trust them and assume that it is working and we'll just keep going and um, see how it goes this is a uh, yeah all that stuff in my trailer is bouncing around as I, oop, as I accelerate. <laughs> That's quite interesting. I didn't realise those are all proper physics objects. I was assuming it was all just part of the, um, part of the vehicle model. Ah, there's, there's the old BF injection. Those are those are quite good for as off-road vehicles. And the, ooh, that and that Sand King behind me. They're they're they're, they're funny because they can drive over other cars to an extent. So, once I've burnt this vehicle, I shall switch to one of those because they are quite good. It's rearranged everything in the trailer a bit. Right. Oop, there's the micro light. And also one of the hunters. I was pausing to have a look around, see what was going on, and I got a little bit scared by that. That's a concern. There's Mike trying to overtake, or through take, or something, whatever you want to call it. Maybe you'll think that Sand King's me because it's pulling off ahead away from him. <laughs> that was quite a dodgy overtake by the Sand King. Um, so I'm hoping that that's fooled Mike. And I can't. Oh, there's the micro light behind me. So if Mike's chasing that vehicle. Now, what the sensible thing to do would be to do a hard right here. But I don't know if that's realistic for this vehicle. Mike has now worked out that that's not me. Um, he is suspicious of this of this uh, pickup truck, but I'm guessing he's maybe he's assuming I'm not daft enough to be using it, or maybe he's just called for reinforcements. Okay, I think he's just called for reinforcements. Let's swing a trailer at him. And... 
Alright, we're going off off-roading with a trailer. Let's find out how this goes. This is going to be a bad idea, I can feel it, but... Oh no, the trailer isn't detaching as easily as I was hoping it would. This might be a, this might be problematic, but we'll see how it goes. I'm um, cautiously up. Oh, there we go. There's the trailer. Not, not try to try not to run over the wild boar. Uh, okay, what's behind me at this point? I don't see anything behind. Oh, there's the micro lights going in the other direction. Excellent. Okay, micro light is going past me in the opposite direction. So that means it's going to struggle to turn around now. So if I can put some miles down. Um, and then try and get off this road and ideally hide somewhere and perhaps even change vehicles then I might be in with a chance and this pickup truck isn't too bad off-road so I'm not doing too bad oh, not doing too badly I'm glad the trailer came off when it did actually that was um, starting to worry me a bit oh, I'm into the same area of no vehicles again where I was um, struggling to find something to drive before okay let's 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 get out and get we'll go on foot for a bit this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to risk it. The biggest problem with going on foot is that the circle stops shrinking at a decent speed. So I now need to try and find another car. It's to, it's basically to try and st in, in, to make it not not worth hiding. Um, we have there goes one of the hunters. I can hear him. Yep, that's Mike over there. In order to make it not really worth hiding and running around on foot like this, we've got it set so that the circle shrinks very, very slowly when you're on foot, like like when you're in a supercar. Um, the problem with that is if you can't find another car, because nobody in Sandy Shores can afford cars, apparently, especially when you're walking past a, um, an abandoned motel like this, then it's a bit of a problem. Especially as I can hear the hunters driving around over there, like that. I think I need to hide a bit more ideally, like this perhaps. Let's go in here. Okay, there's Mike heading off over that way actually. Oh, I wish I knew I wish I knew where the circle was. Do am I desperate enough to take a bug van? I mean, yes, I am, because I need a vehicle. Ooh, or a scrambler, that'd be much better. Ah, oh, I've lost it. What's over here? Okay, we've got a bug van and a Cadillac of some sort over here. I guess one of those will have to do. Right, is the micro where's the micro light? There's the micro light. It's going away. Right, good. Um, which of these is less terrible? <laughs> Let's use this one because I've seen quite a lot of these driving around. Someone's upset because I'm stealing his vehicle. He'll get over it or under it. Mostly under it. <clears throat> okay, there's shooting going on in the in, in the town, but it's off to the. Oop, there's Pete. Um. <laughs> um. Mike has apparently been killed. That's a good start. We approve, appreciate it when that happens. I still I, I still want to change my vehicle to something that's a bit less terrible. Where did those dirt bikes go? Those would be those would be suitable. There's one. Oops, didn't mean to horn. Well, that's another pickup truck there. That's again loosely suitable. Oh, that's that's some an an, 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 an There's a lot of hunter killing and suiciding and stuff going on around here. Um, there's Mark there. He seems to be the one hunter who hasn't actually died in the last few moments. Actually, no. To be fair, Tristan hasn't died either. But then he's um, up in the micro light where it's a bit, he's a bit, a little bit safer. <laughs> oh, but that said, oh, if he's in the micro light, that makes me worry about stealing other vehicles. Because if I steal, if, if I'm spotted stealing a vehicle, it's a dead giveaway that I'm me. Because I don't think AIs basically don't steal other AIs' vehicles. Basically, it doesn't happen. Who what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's one of those little muscle pickup trucks. Yeah, that'll do. I forget what they're called, but it's definitely better than what I'm using do? at the moment. Where's the micro light? Where's the micro light? I can't see. All I can see is some dirt. Oh, I was too busy looking for the micro light to to, to to steal the car properly. Let's try that again. 
That was really, really stupid of me. To get so distracted looking for the micro light that the hunter that I let the hunters find me. I mean what what was that all about, Lawrence? Goodness sake. Sort your life out. <laughs> right, oh well. We're having another chase anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't know how good this car is going to be off-road. It is at least one of the sort of the utility type vehicles. Oh no, it's a solid wall. Ah, oh, that was a good shot. Damn it. He now feels smug because he drove underneath me, probably. I'm wearing a uh, monster truck as a hat. Circle change. Circle change again. It's this car and trailer. Or oh, the dirt bike. This car and trailer feels more like it to me. Yes, dirt bikes. Yeah, awesome. Going off road. Heading southwest. Over the hills. Still heading. S now changing south. I've rolled, he's heading south, he's onto the main road, he's turned east. Progressing east along the main road on the north side of the Sandy Shore airfield. Other way, Tristan. That'll be it. Nice okay. Pete, turn left. I can't Thank see. you. See Oh, uh, the pickup ahead of me. Uh, yes. Thank you. It's Mark, Pete, and then pickup. I think he's turned. I don't see him ahead. Did not see where he went. I've lost eyes. He may well be on foot at this point. Ducked in a bush trying to let us go past. Uh, still here, but uh, only about two blocks or three blocks where he can be. He probably went round uh, that northern corner, which was outside the circle, and he didn't know that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that was indecisive. Oh, no, uh, red car, that one. That red car. Yes, yes, yes. Where, 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 where? Uh, north corner. I've lost eyes. I just flew straight over the top. Got it. Behind you, Mark. Yep. It's like these uh, little r pickup trucks, but not the large ones, but the... Uh like the low rider yeah. type one. Station, yeah, station wagons without a uh, crash, crash backside. Yeah, I can't shoot him, so it's all on you. There we go. Well, did you? How spot? did you get guns, Mike? Oh, I used the command to get more guns. Yeah, I'm oh, not sure I thought I'd do, do that. that. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Survival. And we're doing the um, yes, the survival run again now, which means it's um, up to me to just try and survive for as long as I can. 
and my objective is to survive until the circle shrinks down to 100 meters. Now, I can't actually see how big the circle is at the moment because there seems to be some sort of bug in the game that causes it to not be... It causes me to not be given the announcements about the circle size. I'm supposed to be told every time it shrinks by 10 meters that it's what the new size is, um, but that doesn't seem to be working. So I'm just having to guess. Basically, I'll just keep going for as long as I can and hope, hopefully <laughs> and see how it goes. We're trying something a little bit new from the hunter's point of view this time. They're allowed to use basically different vehicles. So they might be using, well, they could be, rather than using their standard coupes, they could be using off-road vehicles, they could be using SUVs, they could be using almost anything. Um, so they've got quite a bit of, um, quite a few options in there. Which means that they have, um, which hap we, we've done this because the hunters were finding that the, uh, the coupes weren't very good off-road. So as soon as I started, as soon as I went off-road to try and get away from them, they were really struggling and it was, it was, it was frustrating. So we thought we'd give them the, the option to choose either an off-road vehicle that will be slower but will be better off-road, better will have, will, will have better grip, and potentially be faster off-road actually, or to go for something like a coupe, or something a little, or something that's sort of maybe somewhere in between if they can find something suitable, and go and and get the, the sort of and try and get slightly different advantages. So I've gone for um, the Sand King, which is um, I'm thinking is probably going to be a reasonable all-rounder. Oops, um, who left that there? Because it's. I think it's got a reasonable turn of speed along flat flat road, flat tarmac roads like this one, but I think it also re handles reasonably well off road. So I'm I'm cautiously hoping it's going to be okay. Now that's Mark. He's clearly in a beef injection. Um, because, well, I can tell I can only I can tell it's him because of the offensive green colour and the headlights and so on. Um, so he's picked an off road vehicle. So I think if I want to try and get away from him, I'm probably best off sort of just trying to stay on the road. But He's ramming me. Does that mean he thinks this is me? I don't know. I'm stuck behind a golf cart. Okay, the golf cart's gone a different way. Right, good. So let's try and let's try and drive onwards uh, in a sort of a reasonably normal and innocent kind of way, and hope that he doesn't get too suspicious, or alternatively hope that he doesn't work it. He isn't able to describe where he is. And to make things even more complicated, as you can tell from that shadow on the rocks in front of me. There is also a hunter flitting around in a micro light to give them some a bit more information on what's going on. A bit of sort of a view from above and that sort of thing. So I should probably be going a bit faster than this really. Um, and trying to get away from Mark because he's not going away. So I think he's pretty much convinced this is me. And if he's been keeping an eye on the circle and watching when it jumps, then he's definitely going to be convinced he's found me because he can... That, that's what the circle's for. If, if, you're chasing, if you're following someone and they stay in the circle, or rather the circle, circle stays around them, then you can be pretty sure you're following the right person. So, on the plus side, I've got the advantage that if I keep going this way, I'm heading round the top side of the lake, and that's going to get me away from all of the other hunters. So, anyone who's... Let's try and go around here and up here instead, actually. Um... The, hunt, the other hunters are going to struggle to get to me because there's a lot of distance to cover. Nobody really knows where they're going around here. And so it's just going to be a little bit more tricky for them to get involved. Especially as I've sort of doubled back and I'm, I'm going up here. Oh, and there's a, a railway, to, there's a tunnel to go through here. So that's, that's excellent because that's going to... Well, it would in theory help me get away from the, uh, the micro light. Except that there's a car right behind me who's telling the micro light exactly what I'm doing. So... This tunnel will be absolutely fantastic and perfect if there wasn't a car right behind me. So I'm just going to have to keep going along here and try and keep keep my, my general policy of just trying to go reasonably quickly. Are these the sort of, oh, this is the um, the area that's often known as the dangerous road. And you can kind of tell why. Um, <laughs> it's a bit tricky. Uh, oh, maybe it's not the dangerous road, actually. It's just one of the sort of the foothills of Chiliad perhaps I don't I don't really know <clears throat> but I do I do know that I need to try and get away from Mark somehow so I'm going to come down here let's go ooh, under the bridge to hide a little bit from the micro light is it hidden me from anyone if I turn around now right I'm going to wait here for a moment and see if Mark turns up I can't tell where the micro there he is <laughs> all right so much for that plan it seemed like a good idea at the time oh I need to try and use the size of my monsters. Oh no, that is another of the hunters. Ah, oh. he's got one of my 
giant comedy tyres as well. Oh no, this is going to be a real problem for me. Um, hopefully the giant comedy tyres have got me. Oop, yeah, have got me onto the onto the highway quickly enough that I can now make a bid for a bit, at least a bit of freedom. Where's the marker? There's the marker light, quite a long way behind me. Okay, so I need to come off somewhere. Let's come off here. Um, is this? I don't know where this is. This, this is. I'm, oh, this might be Polito Bay. I might have got far enough north for that. But I need to get out of this car because it is trashed. A, a um. Ooh, this is nice. A banshee is perfect right now. Let's just get out of here in this. Come on, start the car. Start the car. Thank you. So if I can just use this to escape. Right. So a banshee has 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 an ups ups and downs. So on the one hand, this car is much faster than anything the hunters will be throwing against me. Um, it's faster than anything they are allowed to use. So I can literally, I can get away from this. That's not going to be a problem. I can probably even outrun the micro light, no matter no matter what. So what I'm going to do is make some speed round the island and then switch back to a slower vehicle again. So while, whilst I'm in this banshee, I'm basically not going to have any... Um, the circle just isn't going to shrink at any sort of sensible speed for me. Uh, so I can't... I can't stay in it. It, it, it's just, it just won't work for me. Um, but I can use it to try and get to somewhere slightly more sensible and then switch to a vehicle that will allow me to get, get some... Um, so if I pull over here like this, I can take that oracle. Oh no, I've been spotted, probably. Probably spotted. I'm not sure. Yeah, Mark is definitely turning around there. Damn it. I was hoping... That was going to be a an escape for me, but apparently I, I didn't I didn't go far enough. Oh well, I've now switched to an Oracle, which is still a quick car. There's the micro light behind me. Damn it! I should have run a bit further. Or oh, if I'd gone a bit further and hidden in that in that off off area there. Right. So what I need to do is once again I need to, I need I need to do exactly the same plan I had with the um, with the Banshee, but achieve it with a slightly slower car, which, to be honest, should be possible. Um, the Oracle is, it's a coupe, it's, 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 it's quick, it's a quick car. Um, it'll outrun, it'll certainly outrun the the, uh, the BF injection. It'll probably outrun the Micro Light. And if I now ditch down here and go up, drive up this riverbed, I'm now at a massive disadvantage if he saw me do this. But if he didn't, then I am, oh, rolling over as usual if he didn't see me come off here then I'm probably clear at least until they regroup and work out what on earth I've done now hopefully this farm is going to have some sort of vehicle that I can steal come on have something it's got to be something here surely okay, right I'm gonna get out of the car which is also unwise and causes me problems <laughs> if that car had despawned I'll be very very sad okay there's the micro light way over there oh, I was hoping hoping there would be just any vehicle here would do I mean a tractor anything that's not gonna be a running vehicle is it no <laughs> okay I think there is nothing here that I can take where's the micro light there's the micro light it's coming towards me I hope he didn't see me. I can hear cars coming. Maybe he has seen me. Back in the car, back in the car. I can hear revving noises. That sounds like a dirt bike. No, nope, it's a micro. It's, oh no, there's no way out of here. Backwards. I'm in trouble. Go forwards. That'll do. Maybe. No, backwards, backwards, the other backwards, the other that backwards. Yes, there we go. Has he just got in my car, the cheeky sod? No. If he did, he got out again. I think he just lagged and jumped. Oh, no, that's tyres. It's tyres. This is bad. I have no, no control over this car. Fortunately, Mike doesn't have very much control over his shooting. Um, <laughs> there's uh, Mark in the beef injection come to join in. And that must be, therefore, by process of elimination, that must be Tristan in a. Hang on. Oh no, that's uh, that's Mike in the in the um, in the uh, in, in the dune buggy. 
Okay, so they've both gone off-roady. Off-road vehicles. That's, I mean, that's sensible given what we're talking about. I just can't do anything because I haven't got any tyres. I've got no grip. We're off-road, so it's even worse. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. There's not very much left in my car. Oh, and I can't steer it. It just won't grip anything at all. Oh, there we go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs>
from which building down the highway from the west. Yeah, I think he took the first left uh, here in the village. Okay. Yeah, he's switching vehicles. Run him over? Uh. Oh, uh, there is a oh, I see. first left, yeah. Uh, so he abandoned the truck. Which car's in? I don't know. I just. Oh, behind you. Oh, back onto the highway. Heading north ish. Uh, yeah, heading along the highway at speed. Uh, north ish. Yes. They're going clockwise round. Uh, I'm losing him. He's way faster. Yeah, I can still just about see him in the distance, but he's shot ahead. I've lost sight of him, but he's... Uh, what car? Which car? Uh, way further than you are now. Probably a couple, couple of cars ahead. No, no, uh, what model? I, I don't know. <laughs> Color? No, uh, we're off that now. <laughs> Character no, he's, model. He's <laughs> Like, yes, dark. there was a color. It was a dark color. Okay, I fully drove through the circle, so he's uh, somewhere stopped somewhere. Here. Yeah. Oh, there is this uh, a red, red car that's sedan. Just onto yeah. The road, yeah. So who's that black car that's in the, the side of the road there? The banshee, I think. Just to confirm, we said that any car was technically viable for this run, yeah? That's right, yeah. Except yeah. supers. Uh, did we say that? Uh, sports and supers. Oh, we said yeah, we were against. Oh, Be because I wasn't the... listening at that point. This is awkward. <laughs> I'm in a banshee. <laughs> I traded out my dirt bike. I mean, t using that to get <laughs> over to the sensible area and then getting a, be a more proper vehicle is probably fine. Yeah, that's in fairness. That's what we generally say for the prey. Yeah. I might take up that offer then because I'm miles away. We are approaching Sandy Shores. Circle is. Okay. I'm, not, actually, I'm not too far from you, Tristan. I'm by the tunnel. The that tunnel you just flown over. Flying, flying over. Yeah, I he's, think he's after the tunnel, he's going. He's going back. He was in a red, like Bordeaux red sedan. Oh, I thought you were uh, on him, but if it was. If he's, he's no, no, he was too fast. Yeah. Right, I want to take this opportunity to change vehicles because mine is trashed. Where did that spawn? It didn't. Helpful. Uh, you need to enable the commands. Because oh. I had to turn blips off. Oh, there's an orange car off-road here. It feels Amazing. like it's going quickly, going to a dead end. Oh, it's you, yeah, of course. It's yep. That's going to a dead end. <laughs> uh, I thought it might be here. I mean, look at where the circle is. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I clearly thought he might be there as well. <laughs> yep. There is a red uh, car that ah. looks like it's been abandoned here. Okay, I'm yeah, well behind again now. Here. So he's, he's inside it still. Yep. I can't shoot to save my life. Apparently I can shoot to save his life. You know what? As much as I want to dive bomb. Probably not the sense of it. I may or may not take out some tires. Excellent. He's are you off-road? Where are you? Uh, do you see me anymore? No. Middle of the circle, basically. Okay. There's a... Yeah, got him. He's coming out. Oh, you're in the little ditch thing? There's a track there. Got him. Oh, no reg. Oh, <laughs> that was a get down, Mr. President moment. Got him. Sniper rifle. 
quite a distance actually. So yeah, I, I thought I'd done fairly well with the dive off the road and going up to that farm. And if there'd been a vehicle, yeah, we hadn't seen you. The, the circle, the vehicle to switch into then, then I might have been okay. But there weren't any any vehicles at all at the farm. <laughs> it, yeah, it was the only road position that the circle possibly could have allowed you to be. 